down here and join you all today because it's a big, big day. Marty Beal, I think it's your one year yes. arrest. in support of voting rights. This is the 50th anniversary of Freedom Summer, when people went to the South to register African Americans and Mississippi people lost their lives doing this. Now, obviously, we don't have to do that today, but I'll tell you, these voting suppression activities and all these horrible bills and laws that we see being passed have the same effect of disenfranchising people. So though we don't have a poll tax, we got a party trying to push voter ID, and we got to fight, fight, fight against that and make sure that people know the importance of voting this fall. Yeah. So, yeah. I wanted to read really quickly something that I read last year, it was a year ago, I think, when um, there was a resolution in support of you all and your peaceful political protests and your singing. And so I want to read it because I think it's inspiring. I think it's why you come as often as you do every day to continue to express the voice of the people, which is what this building is for. So this is what it says. This is what it says in honor of the Solidarity Singers. And this was a resolution in the legislature. This group of Wisconsinites began their peaceful and joyous protest one year ago in the Capitol Rotunda. So this is back in March. Right of 2011, so now we're obviously significantly out from that. Each day at noon, they express through song their views on the actions of their government. Their tradition of protesting through song goes back to the earliest times of our nation's history. During the 20th, 20th century, protest songs became an important way for people to express their feelings about civil liberties, voting rights, workers' rights, women's rights, gay rights, economic and social justice, politics and war. Over the decades, these songs have become an important part of the American culture, from well-known recording artists and singers to the ordinary people coming together to sing their voices and melodious activism have succeeded in bringing out change in our nation. The solidarity singers each day keep this long tradition alive. Congratulations to you all for continuing to come, to continuing to keep the voice of the people alive in this building. So thank you all for continuing to do what you do every day. And congratulations.